there is one item from a brand that I know nothing about that is randomly like a million dollars and it obviously like jumps up the value of the box by a lot. <laughs> Greetings, Earthlings. I'm really excited about this video because this bad boy just showed up at my door. This is the May 2020 BoxyCharm Premium box. And I am excited for this because last month's box sucked. I will, uh, I'll link it somewhere. It, uh, it had literally no makeup in it except for like a lip stain. And not only that, the skincare that I got in it one wasn't for my skin type and two that uh that honey mask thing it burned my face which i actually saw it burnt a lot of people's faces so let's see if boxycharm can redeem themselves because this box isn't the cheapest thing i mean don't get me wrong you do get a lot of bang for your buck because this is like worth like over 100 bucks and you pay like 35 or something like that okay i digress let's go ahead and open this i haven't opened it yet open it together oh yeah I got in a little fight with the box while I was taking the sticker off but oh well see what's in here oh you can't see anything okay the theme is uh mother nature that's cool I hate it already the the Too Faced natural eyeshadow palette was in some of the boxes why didn't I get it Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. This could be okay. The first thing I see in here is something by Baddington. The last box I think had Baddington lashes in it. This is a brush set, comes with a powder brush, a contour foundation brush, and I guess that's it. Uh, hopefully these are different ones because in the last box, the, bo the brushes that we got, I got a duplicate of one of them. Okay, these look fancy. Sorry, like I need to wash my hair, so my bangs are a little yucky, but I also have an enormous zit right there. So I'm trying to cover them up with my, my dirty bangs, which is probably just gonna make my head more oily and greasy and get me more pimples. I love being 28 years old. Uh, anyway, these are nice. They're soft. Uh, contour foundation and powder brush. I don't see myself using this for powder unless I do like powder under the eyes, but like for all over the face, nah. And this that I probably will not use. This is by a brand called Pure Heels by Nature Village. Centella 90 Ampoil. I don't know what it is, but it looks like some kind of oil. A soothing ampoile, which contains Cantella Asiatica extract. It relieves irritations of sensitive skin and strengthens the skin barrier. I still don't know what it is. <laughs> I'll read the insert and see if it gives me any more detail. It looks kind of cool. It looks uh, very natural. This looks like it might be cool. This is by Milk Makeup. This is a glow oil lip and cheek sheer blush and lip stain packed with hydrating rice bran oil for a shimmering wash of color this is in the shade astro this could be cool i could like this if it's too shimmering though i don't think i would like it as a blush right, let's swatch this on my incredibly dry brittle hands what there's a cap on it there's another cap on it i'm such an idiot feels nice yeah that's a little it's super shimmery that's way too shimmery for me to use as a blush but that could be a pretty lip oil my lips are always dry I could use a lip oil thank you boxycharm premium for giving me something that I kind of like thanks this I already know that I don't like I have this and in fact I uh once used it in my least favorite products video. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Gold Bronza. I already have this and I don't like it. It's it's too shimmery for me for a bronzer. I do love the original one. That's actually what I'm wearing right now, but the shimmery is not my cup of tea. I have really bad textured skin and I don't need to highlight it. 
I really don't. It smells fantastic though. And I know this is worth like 30 bucks. So. The Sugar Rush by Tarte Best Bud Lip Butter Balm uh, in Peony. When, like I just said, I get really dry lips. Oh, this is so cute. Look at the little flower. I bet this smells good. I feel like it would smell good. It smells really good. It smells like cake. I don't want to stick my fingers in it just yet. I wonder if it has like any kind of a tint. I feel like it probably does, like a nude tint. Uh, okay. Well, you know what, BoxyCharm? Thanks. Again, I like this. I definitely think I underestimated the box when I first opened it. And last thing, something by Kevin Aquan, the expert mascara. I can always use more mascara. Let's see, Kevin Aquan is expensive. What's Kevin Aquan doing in here? Huh? The only Kevin Aquan products I've ever tried are ones I've gotten at like Marshalls. I don't wanna open it up because I just opened up a new mascara yesterday. So I'm not gonna know what it looks like just yet. But you can always use mascara. Like always. Let's look at the insert and see. Is there something underneath? No, it's a big piece of cardboard. Oh, well, that box is a little bit too big. Um, let's see. Kevin Aquan, the expert mascara is $29. I could never spend $30 on a mascara. Uh, the Too Faced bronzer is $30. Milk Makeup Lip and Glow Mabob, $15. Baddington brushes, no, $90 for these two brushes. Boxy term. I'm, look at that. I, am I reading this wrong? There has to be some kind of a mistake. But you know what Boxy Charm always does is with Boxy Lux and Boxy Premium, there is one item from a brand that I know nothing about that is randomly like a million dollars and it obviously like jumps up the value of the box by a lot. I do not believe that these brushes are worth 45 bucks a piece. Uh, they, they're not made of solid gold. Box Charm, you playing. This has to be a typo. Um, Tarte, the lip balm, $12 and this Pure Heels Cantella Serum is $28. A soothing serum, blah da 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 da, helps strengthen damaged skin moisture barrier and keeps the skin clear from the external environment. So I think this is just supposed to like help make your skin stronger. I, I'm at a loss for words with those brushes, guys. This is, I mean, they feel like nice and full. They don't seem to be like shedding too bad, but I also use e.l.f. brushes, which by the way, the other day I washed eight weeks worth of brushes. It took me like an hour and a half. Now I do have some add-ons from the boxy pop-up that I have recently ordered as well. And uh, I figured I'd go over those because the boxy pop-up and like the add-ons is actually really cool because you get the products that you like actually want for a super deep discount. Uh, yeah, so in one of my boxes earlier this year, I got the Becca 24 hour ultimate coverage foundation and I really liked it, but the shade was way too light for me. So I actually got this from the pop-up shop. This is in just a darker shade and I really like this. I'm wearing it today. I've had it on, I got off of work like an hour ago. So I had it on for a good seven hours before I started filming this. It uh, sometimes it does look a little bit cakey because it's super thick and it can be hard to spread, uh, but I do like it. I just have to be careful because sometimes it'll settle here in these lines. Other than that, it's it's not bad. I like it. I also got this from Cover Effects. These glitter drops. This is in the shade Mirage. It uh yeah. I got I spent like eight bucks on these. And they're like $42 at the store. Same with this. This is like $44 in real life. And I think I spent like $12 on it on the BoxyCharm website. And it's quality too. And then hourglass. I got an hourglass blush. 
for like 10 bucks, something like that. This is in the shade Diffused Heat. It's okay. I, I'm wearing it right now. It's pretty. It does have a little bit of a shimmer in it, but it's not too bad. It's also a little sheeny, but like it's such a light wash that it doesn't, I don't know. But I wouldn't spend like, what, 50 bucks or however much this is at Sephora. But if I'm going to get it from the BoxyCharm website for like 10 bucks, yeah, sure. Why not? And also this lipstick that I'm wearing right now, the last time I talked about add-ons that I got, I could not find this lipstick. But I'm wearing it. I found it in a purse. This is a Too Faced Melted Matte in the shade Bend and Snap. Yeah. Um, oh, last thing. This. I got this too. I spent like 12 bucks on this. This is by a brand called Cosmetics. It's kind of like a knockoff or a dupe for that Nurse Jamie one that Tati always uses. And you just massage your face with it. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I can't say that it works. I don't know what it's supposed to do, but I do know it irritated my TMJ. <laughs> so there's, there's that. I know when I edit this video, I'm going to go back and I'm going to hate my hair the whole time. Fun stuff. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it. Please subscribe. Um, I know I've been doing a lot of BoxyCharm videos lately, but I can't exactly go to the store and do TJ Maxx and uh, Marshall's Halls now, can I? So uh, if they're going to deliver makeup to my door, I'm going to talk about it. Uh, okay. Uh, enjoy your day and uh, bye.